Hello, it's Lady and the Frogs. Um, if you're new around here, I uh, do videos about reselling uh, because that's the business that I have and how I make money uh, since I lost my job at the beginning of the pandemic. But never mind all that. I've been outsourcing. Um, I didn't intend to because I'm trying to be careful not spending, but because I haven't been out for a, at least a week and a half, if not two, I'm only doing a short walk to the post office. I say short, you know, for some people it would be phenomenal. I do a, a half a mile there and half a mile back with my post every day um, for the sake of exercise. Um, but I do like to go, obviously, go round and go to the charity shops and I will walk five miles if not more going around charity shops rather than having to go on a bus I've never been a bus person I find them a surreal experience I don't understand how people know when to get off on a bus route that they don't know uh, it all just seems like a mystery and I don't like the shunting around uh, you know I feel like I'm gonna get whiplash so I'm a tram girl uh, but I do do a lot of walking, doo-doo. Um, so I was intending to go to my usual honey hole and then go up towards another charity shop, which I really like, and then come back round. Um, but that never happened. I went to the first charity shop, and because I haven't been there for two to three weeks, there was absolutely loads there. I have left stuff, you know... It's so frustrating. There's stuff that I would usually pick up, but because I'm trying to not end up overrun with stuff, because I do run my business out of my own apartment, and it is encroaching on everything. I'm trying to limit how much stuff I pick up and make sure that I'm picking up, you know, bangers that are gonna go out really fast. So, and along with me doing the Lego, I need to get control of it, and that's what I was trying to do, so. There was all this stuff, all the stuff. I've got two bags. I didn't take my trolley because I thought it was going to rain. Well, I mean, the weather forecast, I've stopped paying attention to the weather forecast, but looking out of the window, it did look it might rain, but I didn't wear a jacket. I just took my umbrella and I just, and I left my, um, I left the trolley here because I just, you know, if you pull in a trolley and you've got an umbrella in your hand and you know there's no <laughs> there's only so many things that you can do when you only have two hands you know and what do these people do who only have one arm or if they've like got dislocated shoulder problems so another bag here another great pile of stuff there because i had to cram it all into my rucksack and then i thought well i've got to go home because i've got to physically get home <laughs> so that's what i did i came back and I'm probably going to go out tomorrow because I do need the walk. I was like a sweating mess when I came back. So I'm obviously need the fitness thing. I felt like my asthma needed it. I left the house and then came back because I thought I hadn't taken my inhalers. I don't know. So not going sourcing is not a good thing when it's part of my exercise. So, I, this was part of the bulk in the bag. As I said, I was going to get some of these Wajgij jigsaws and do them properly this time without cheating. So I, they had two there, so I've come back with them. So this one's obviously seasonal, but, you know, we're six months, well, five months away from that season. So it's not premature getting this one. Um, this is what the dad sees so this guy here the image will be what he sees um, imagine you are the dad in the pushchair what can he see including the back of the two ladies in the picture so it looks like it'll have the back of them two and then something else which is going on 
So I'm going to give that one a go and do a separate video of me doing it properly. And then this one, which is probably more appropriate for now because it looks like a holiday thing. Signs of Time, Retro, Where It All Began. And this one is Puzzle the Future. And it's upside down, so I can't read what it says there. Um, hint. Try to imagine what has changed over the years. But this is your view you have in the puzzle, so I don't know. But it'll appear anyway on there, so that will give me something to do, but not before I've done all the Lego and other things. Um, so, there's like two main brands that are in this haul, and it's Ted Baker. <laughs> you know, I've had problems with Ted Baker, so I really shouldn't be touching them with a barge pole. I've had a Vero for them before, but it was for using a stock photo. So I'm always a bit apprehensive with them, but I think because of my apprehension, I price it right and it goes. Because I'm like, so like, I don't want it hanging around for very long. I'm pricing them right and they fly out the door. So, um, yeah, Ted Baker and Reese are the big things which I've got here. So... <laughs> Um, and then there's stuff that I left behind. I, there was a Kim and Co dress that was really, it was like a lacy thing. It was really nice, but it was white and I'm a bit like, uh, about white. People keep going on about Kim and Co. Um, I don't know what other people think, but I left it there. I wasn't ready to try it. There's only one dress that I've got here and it'll probably end up being mine. Um, it's this. It was in with the jumpers, but it's definitely a jumper dress. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it is a jumper. I don't know. It's got a bit of a bat wing. Honestly, it must be a, a dress. Who's going to wear this as anything other than a dress? Anyway, I love the print on that. That is so fabulous. I have a thing about this brand because there's not... I mean, I am, I am curvy. So it's Jane Norman. And I think that's why it's quite popular because it's quite flattering when you've got a few bumps and the rest of it. So I honestly, I will probably end up keeping this. I really will. Let's see what the sizing is. It is it's actually a 16. I'm more of a 12 to 14. So um, I don't know. It's quite roomy on me oh that would be a shame if it doesn't fit but never mind never mind never mind um oh yeah there is another dress for this brand it's a bit crap <laughs> it's a bit boring is the word not crap it is oh it's another curly label type thing um talking of curly labels there was a uh, white stuff there and it was really nice but it had some repairs that needed doing it, so I was behaved and I did leave it. So this is sea salt. I rarely find sea salt. It's a 12 and it is just a jumper dress. So three quarter length sleeves. This will be okay going into winter, you know, autumn. It's got pockets um, and they usually have a name on the tag. This is the Nepita dress. So, hopefully that will go okay because it's a bit of a thicker dress. So, seasonal, seasonal approach, seasonally appropriate. <laughs> um, they had a fair few trousers, um, but I did leave a bunch of them. Uh, I came back with these. I could probably do with actually moving this, couldn't I? Moving, moving. Now you can see my horrendous hallway. Um, yeah, you can't see things when I'm that close. So these are a pair of trousers by Collective. Never actually got had Collective trousers before. Vintage. Um, you see, this is the thing. It's Collective. It says established 2000. So, you know, <laughs> it's all a bit subjective now these are so wide leg i mean look at that that's i could wear it as a boob tube and i'm not a slim person <laughs> um 
um, they're belted and the belt's still there. They're 12. I mean, this is something I can never get away with because I was really, I'm really short. Oh, maybe, maybe I could. They're high waisted as well. But no, I'm not going to be wearing them because they're, it's not me. It's not me at all. Something that is me is these, but these won't fit because these are quite a low ride on these. I think they're vintage actually. Miss Selfridge. It's got no reference to websites on the tag. Even though it does look like quite a modern tag, it's got no reference to any websites on it. But these, I love these. So if these fitted me, I would be keeping these. Look at those bell bottom flares. But I've got short legs. So not gonna happen, I'm afraid. I just end up wrecking stuff like that because it just drags around on the floor and you know somebody who will just think nothing of walking five miles shouldn't have a really nice pair of jeans because they'll wreck them but they'll sell really easily for 20 pound right so where are we with all this i'll show you all of these t-shirts bear in mind i've left some of them Oh wow, no, this is something I picked up for me. What a bad girl. I'll check the reselling prices first. <laughs> if it's okay, I'll, it'll go. Uh, it's Fraggle Rock. <laughs> I've never seen a Fraggle Rock t-shirt. Obviously, it's not vintage um, because it's printed label thing on the back. It probably says Primark. Um, does it say anything? It's been cut um i'll have a look at that and if it's okay i might sell it but it is very very um well it's bobbled but it's not bobbled it's piled material the sort that you can't get the stain the, the stain the mark out so it's not um a massive it's not going to be a massive resale on that anyway because it's obviously worn so these are all the ted baker t-shirts that i've picked up absolutely loads of them i think they're small sizes so it says three so it'd be medium uh, so that one has got dragonflies on it these are all three pound so dragonflies they must have a thing there. i've been in there before and there's been loads of ted baker t-shirts um, that one, which is, what do you call this, mosaic or snow or stuck in a rainstorm? Let's see what the, the thing about Ted Baker is that they always have a brand name. So that's why I got stung with the stock photo because it's very easy to find stock photo. This is called Faded. I don't know what how to describe that other than geometric mosaic rain. <laughs> and then exactly the same but this time in grey. Uh, let's see if they've still got the same name on it. Yeah, faded. So that again in grey makes it easy to list. Uh, what's that? That's a dress, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then this, flamingos. Flamingo. Not the same one. It's got this lobster one here. What's it say? The world is your lobster. Um, I've got a pair of shorts which aren't shifting. That's the same label as that. And then this one, I've had this one before. I think I had it in Excel last time. Um, absolutely flew out the door. Got twenty five pound for that last time, but it was large sizes. Okay. So what else is going on here? I have another dress here which has escaped me. I looked at this and I thought, God, it's, it's, it should have a belt with it, but it's got no belt loops on it. So this is a Hobbs dress, which is very much, you know, I should be listing this now. It's the NW3 range, but I've never seen it on that label with actually Hobbs tied to it. So I'll get that one on sharpish. I am going to be doing some listing today because 
it is quite nice and sunny in here so I'm going to take advantage of that so what have we got it's all the same sort of stuff bearing in mind that I've left stuff I can't believe it so let's leave all of that there for the fact that it's all the same brand um, I've got these Paul Smith jeans, which were three pounds. Um, oh, it feels like it's had a shrinking episode. Mm. No, it's okay. So yeah, it's it's okay. It just feels a bit hard. That tag. Um, yeah, just a, you know, just a basic really twenty to twenty five. I'll probably put them on for twenty five, and if somebody and gives me, I'll suggest that they've got twenty pounds to give me, I'll take it. Um, and then the majority of this stuff that I have here is Reese and um, I only picked up the best bits really and I left a load of it. I think there's one thing in here that isn't Reese and it's All Saints so not all that fab. So these I need to get on Sharpish and price them at, price them at the £20 mark rather than you know, £25. Um, they're tensile and linen so tensile is quite popular with um, vegan I think because it's like a sustainable fabric as well so just a basic pair of shorts and we'll put them there because we'll do them now mind you I've got to put all of this on the spreadsheet before I do anything this is one of this is what I always do is that I do tag everything so they don't get lost. You don't, you know, you've got a two or three chances of seeing whether there's still a tag, a charity tag attached. And then I put it on my spreadsheet so that I've logged it. So that I, when I sell it, I just take the line out and put it into my um, accounts. So these, I ummed and ahed about these. Um, pair of trousers um, I thought they were bobbled I hate checking other people's crotches they've got safety pins on them but there's no issue it just needs me to sew it and wool is so easy to sew so I can definitely do that repair and it wasn't the reason that I, I just couldn't be I just couldn't be asked with that repair job on that white stuff dress because I just thought I'd, I've got too much stuff to deal with it uh, so yeah just a decent pair of wool trousers which going into the winter I should better get 25 for them and then a whole load of like jackets and cardigans and things so this one is like a wool the zip up thing the zip up cardigan it's nice it's not got any issues i don't think other than somebody's dinner on it it's probably going to need a bit of debubbling again this is reese the trousers were reese did i say everything is reese so i got to this point when i was looking at all of this reese stuff where i was just like oh my god do i really want to pick up all this reese stuff and then while i was stood there at all these coats having a meltdown or well, not having a meltdown just questioning whether I wanted to carry these across Manchester um my phone notification came on that I'd had a sale and it was a Reese shirt that I'd sold for 23 pounds so I just thought well there you go if you're looking for a sign does Reese sell here it is um this is quite a nice coat uh, I didn't even look at that I just thought yes this is a definite winner um, this you know a really nice outdoor jacket so I won't have any problems with this at all it's an older Reese label but yeah I'll have to have a look into that it might be that I can get 35 for that I have another one which is very similar but this one needs debobbling this was the one I was sort of like standing there debating. So again, the older label, uh, but like a quilted thing. It's not goose down, 
but you see again that's popular with people who don't want to necessarily be responsible for ripping a goose to pieces um yeah i'm really pleased with that uh, it's it's doing that thing you see at the back here where some of the sort of down is coming out of the seams um so i'll have to tidy that up i have had worse when i put it on auction i had a i had a zara jacket and i was just like oh god why have i done this and all the down was coming out and i was just like why have i done this why have i picked it up and I put it on auction and then the auction price flew up to £30. And then I think on top of that, they they paid to have it shipped out to America or something. And it, and it was all good, even though I'd, I'd said, well, some of the down is coming out and I couldn't really get on top of it. I think I can deal with that one fine, though. This one is just a jumper. Um, yeah, Reese, medium... Just a sort of a quarter zip jumper thing, but with a hood. So, yep, yeah, that'll be an easy one to do. And then the last thing that I picked up was this All Saints jacket, which I'm always a bit, ugh, with All Saints. I do leave a lot of it behind because the quality is not there with it. But this one is really, this is really nice, and I'm fairly sure that this will sell possibly for around 30. It's got a sort of fleck to it, but it's not picking up necessarily on the camera that well. Um, yeah, um, I'm really, yeah, I'm really confident with that one. It says Italian cloth on it. So again, with, with All Saints, it's one of these, you know, all of them actually, um, Ted Baker, Reese, and All Saints, they all have the name. This one is inside the pocket, so yeah, this is a really good jacket because it's got inside pockets. So this one, uh, it says the Mandino Bomber. Yeah, so all three of those brands always have the name of the garment on the... Oh, come on, zip up, fool. They always have it on the care label, so it's a real bonus with them because it's always easy to, you know, find the listing for it and see how much it originally sold for. A lot of this All Saints stuff, like Ted Baker and like Reese, will sell for crazy money um, in the shops retail, not, not, on, not online, not on eBay, not on the second-hand market. But when, you, when I'm picking up for £3 and I can sell it for 25 30 it's just a bit of a no-brainer. I think the reason that we're inundated with it here is because we have a Selfridges and uh, John Lewis up at Trafford Centre, and they just churn these things out, don't they? So people go to the Trafford Centre because they can't think of anything better to do with their day, <laughs> and then buy all this stuff, which they then don't need. <laughs> So I've spent £60 today, which is not what I wanted to do. A pound if that was a lottery ticket, um, a cancer research lottery ticket, and I never, I never win. I never win. But I'm glad I went out. I didn't really want to spend all of that money because I'm trying to be careful. But that was definitely worth picking up. But I mean, I've left stuff. I've left stuff behind. <laughs> and I still didn't go to my other charity shop that I really like going to. So I'm going to go out again tomorrow and see what I can uh, see in the world. And now I'm going to shut the hell up and process some of this. Process some of the stuff which I've got sat there. And, you know, keep this business moving. So thank you for watching. And, you know, as you can see, that five of the frogs are out. This is all of the family you see here. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you do like what you see, you know, a subscribe would be really nice. You know, don't just subscribe and unsubscribe though, because you know that's like that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again with more.
of this um, repetitious whole and rambling. <laughs>